I wasn't going to move from my space because it didn't work out. I wasn't going to give him back my car because I'm not going to downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together. And I just feel like if you put me in this space and that was under your budget then, what's the difference now? You know what I mean? you were my girlfriend. I was f***ing you. Yeah, but I just... I was f***ing you. I just feel... Yo, what's up, YouTube? Back in here with another Chisha Zed and Friends episode. I'm here with Felici from the Bye Felici YouTube channel. Good to hey see guys. you. Hey guys, good to see you too. So you got braces? Are those braces? Yes, they are. Cool. When I did just that got happen? um about a week ago, I want to say. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, they feel? I feel like adults with braces is always interesting. Uh, you know what? I feel like I'm back in high school a little bit. <laughs> I'm still so getting good. used to it. I'm still getting used to it. But um, self-improvement. Got to do what you got to do to make yourself you. better. Yeah. So crazy story today. I actually had a few people send me this story on um, Instagram, right? Of course, we've both seen the video. Mm -hmm. What we have is a lady. She's on a panel. I don't even know what the name of the podcast is. I mm -hmm. need to do more research. I'll probably include it in the description below. This lady starts talking about a relationship that she had and how it's no longer, they're no longer together, right? It sounds like she left the guy, but she says that he upgraded her life. Mm -hmm. He put her in a loft, bought her a new car. Um, I don't remember the name of the car. A Mercedes, I think. A Mercedes or something mm -hmm. like that, Benz. And then she said, I don't feel like I should have to let go of the loft, the car, just because we're no longer together. So I had a guy get me a Benz before and put me in a loft space and, you know, set my whole life up differently than what it was normally. And I feel like if you brought me to like this level and then we didn't work out, but we're still friends, you know, we don't we didn't have beef and no one cheated. It was just didn't work out. Um, but I still ex I, I wasn't going to move from my space because it didn't work out. I wasn't going to give him back my car because I'm not going to downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together. And I just feel like if you put me in this space and that was under your budget then what's the difference now she's out of her french toast mind like kevin samuels would say <laughs> she is crazy looney tunes yo <laughs> was that your first uh, impression of the video absolutely i was like it's i i really i had like no words at one point i was just like it is she serious right now here's my thing like usually you hear this type of entitlement and it's usually like from people who are married Right. Mm -hmm. If you make the mistake of marriage in 2021, <laughs> then you'd be dealing with this in real life. Right. You'd be paying somebody literally to their death through alimony or whatever. You know, you might have an ironclad prenup, whatever you decide to do. Right. Mm -hmm. But you're not even married to this guy. He upgraded your life. Mm -hmm. and you're over here talking about how you want to maintain that same lifestyle. You know what I mean? You were my girlfriend. I was fucking you. Yeah, but I just I was fucking. I you. just feel, yeah, but I personally feel like no, I'm not yeah, moving. Yeah, but see, <laughs> but see what he did was this though. He gave you the upgrade, but part of that upgrade is because you're with me. Yeah, you understand. So, so let me just go though. So we didn't work out me and you dating. You feel me? So I'm supposed to keep paying your loft and keep paying your bins. Now I get it. You're a true boss if you do that, and that's the the vibe we're getting. But Jazz, no, it's just I'm not moving, and you, you're gonna have to if deal you with it. Either stay way, you have to pay stay with it. me. If not, go see what's out there. Also, like, if you where, put me in it, that's what I should keep. Where does that entitlement come from? You, you I, asking I, the wrong person, because I have <laughs> zero idea. I have no idea that where that would come from, because she put you in that position because y'all were dating. Yeah. I get that you guys are still friends or whatever. You guys don't have any bad blood between you, but... Just because he put you in that lifestyle doesn't mean that he has to continue to maintain it. Because he was what smashing it, you. Exactly. That's just what it is. That's ex literally what it was. He was getting benefits out of it. He's smashing. He has a girlfriend. She's not ugly. She's very beautiful. He has not a pretty anymore. girl. Oh, not, not, <laughs> not after, anymore. Not after, <laughs> not after that. that. Um, not over here but, on this channel. We base beauty a little bit differently over here. Just a little bit. You know, she has some looks on her. We'll say that. She has some looks on her. Yeah, so, I, you I, know, I, he, he had, a, he had a, a nice looking girl on his arm, but he no longer has that anymore. Yeah. And if he's wanting to do this for some other girl, so not only is he paying your rent, his rent, and this other girl's rent. And here's what tripped me out, right? She said, like, 
oh yeah, if a guy wouldn't let me stay in my place, I'm just gonna fuck the place up. That's what she said. She said, I'm just gonna mess up the car and trash it. I'm gonna trash the house. You're not just because I we no longer working, you're not just gonna rip the pedestal from me. Like, or I'm gonna feel a type of way and just as petty and ruin them things. I'm gonna ruin so the car, I'm gonna trash the house. And then you're gonna have to deal with that. And you're gonna get your ass arrested. Exactly. <laughs> and these are the type of toxic, just, mo this is the worst of modern day dating, man, that you just got to be careful. She yeah. looks, honestly, to me, like an Instagram thought. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I saw when I noticed that, you know what I mean? Someone and, coming up for clout. And someone like that who's had people kind of give them a fake perception of reality. What do mm -hmm. I mean? I mean, you're paying for your bills, not by your own work but because people value your physical appearance, maybe mm -hmm. you're getting older, right? That's unrealistic. It's not gonna last a long time, mm -hmm. right? You have to think like a business person. You should have been learning from that man and learn how to make your own money. Absolutely, you should have been stacking. And, exactly, instead of looking at him and saying, oh, you know, um, I'm entitled to this because you know, you can't just upgrade my life. And I even think it's wrong when it happens in marriages. My question for her is, did she think this was gonna last forever? Maybe she thought she found herself a sucker and it was going to last for a while. Mm. If she had a tear, if, if that's the personality that she was portraying to this guy, I see why they are no longer together. Yeah. yeah. She just looks her The vibe that she gives us is, is very uh, not cool. Toxic. Toxic um, is the word I was looking for. Mm -hmm. um, argumentative, argumentative. Talking about she's going to smash up the, the apartment, smash yeah. up the car. I feel like you did that in your relationship as well. <laughs> From my conclusion, just by seeing her character, I'm only going to assume that she's messing with a simp. Most right? likely, more this than likely. Is a beta male. Why? Because he's he told her from what it sounded like, it sounded like he said, hey, if you want to keep this stuff, you're going to have to stay with me, right? The only time a woman will actually follow through with that is with a beta male provider, mm. right? This is when we're talking about women who view men as just a transaction, right? Mm -hmm. I give you sex, you pay for the house bill, mm -hmm. right? I give you sex, you make sure that um, you're buying me expensive stuff and kind of holding up the standard of life. There's mm -hmm. those type of men, and that's who I think she was messing with. And she kept on saying, do you want me to stay with you just for your stuff? Okay. Oh, so then that, so then if that's the case, so yeah. you want me to stay with you for these items and use you, basically. Not for them. If you want to live like this, it comes with being with me. Okay, so, so then so then you would prefer a woman to just stay with you for her items and her lifestyle. My lifestyle is now contingent. My current new lifestyle that you upgraded me to is now contingent on me being in a relationship with you, and that's the only way I can have it in this moment. At what she was saying i was just like i'm upset for this guy yeah like i'm very much upset for this guy How, where do you where does she get this type of thinking from yeah i think i think it's just entitlement you i have gotta think no it. words for it like it just really blows my mind the reason the, her reasoning behind it oh you put me in this position so you need to maintain it get a job social media I think has contributed to a crazy amount of entitlement for a lot of mm -hmm. women. She probably has dealt with people who are sending her thousands of dollars for feet pictures. Trying to it gets fly crazy. her out. You know, people trying to fly her out. You don't have to be an Instagram thought model to get flown out. You know, didn't you get some guy asking to fly <laughs> you out after you came? She didn't really ask it. He didn't really ask me. He said after that. After you came on my YouTube channel, you got mm -hmm. somebody asking, yeah. Yeah, they, they were trying to talk to me. I really wasn't interested. And then um, like three weeks later, they're just like, oh, I was going to see if I could fly you out. I don't, I don't know you. And that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> women, women today get hit up with stuff like that all the time. All These the guys time. are serious. Yeah. They will buy you that plane ticket mm -hmm. and they do expect you to suck some dick when you get to your destination. Correct. You Correct. I mean? <laughs> but you can't expect the same amount of treatment after Everything is said and done. That mm -hmm. is ridiculous, man. I've You're never not seen sucking that my dick no more. Time. Why do you think that you should still be getting the things that you were getting before? Why you were sucking my dick? No. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And this is my conclusion, man. For anybody out there, right? If you're a man and you're out here feeding and empowering women who think like this by actually financially supporting them, 
right? For not getting anything in return. You are the problem. You are the problem. Men are the problem a lot of times in this situation. A woman like that feels entitled. Why? Because you've made her feel like that. Oh, yeah. Right? She bases her value on what a man is willing to do for either what's between her legs or for free, mm -hmm. right? So a lot of these Instagram thoughts, they live in the farthest just parts of fucking delusion than we can probably <laughs> ever imagine, right? Truth is, relationships are give and take. Mm -hmm. It's not just take, right? If you are providing that man something, whether it's sex, because that's what men want, mm -hmm. regardless, right? Peace of mind, then you get those things in return at the end mm -hmm. of the day. Once it's over, it gets cut off. I mean, yep, definitely. And that's just the way it works. Unless if you're married, so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> then you're fucked, right? Or if you have a prenup. This sounds crazy talking about it outside of a marriage like situation. And I want to clear something up. I'm not saying don't get married, man. I say it all the time on this channel, I will probably get married. I would probably do a traditional wedding where I probably want to get the state involved just because a lot of the times men get That's screwed over in a lot of situations. That's not traditional. That is a spiritual wedding. <laughs> traditional from Africa, my motherland. Gotcha. Okay. You know okay. What okay. I mean? That's mm -hmm. what I meant. Okay. I have, you know, um, my, my African priest there. You know what I mean? No, 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 uh, no, no state people or anything. No state like that. involved. No signed papers. None of that. No signed papers. No state okay. involved. You know what I mean? Um, and the reason why I'm doing that isn't because I just don't trust. Um, yeah, it is. It is because I don't trust whoever I'm going to marry. I was about no. to say, don't lie. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, 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 no. The reason why I'm doing that is this. I don't think people truly know themselves, right? Mm -hmm. You can say you're in love with somebody. And women are really good at doing this. Mm -hmm. And some men as well. You get infatuated, most men, you get infatuated. You say you're in love and you really love this person so much. But what I understand is there's nothing more wishy-washy than a person's heart, right? The Bible says the heart is the most deceitful things about all, above all things who can understand it. Preach, preach. Meaning, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> meaning meaning it's, it's, it's unpredictable. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You just never know what might happen. Mm -hmm. Circumstances change. People change. And I'm banking on the fact that human beings will always be human, mm -hmm. which is unpredictable people. And there'll always be problems. If I don't get the state involved, then that lessens chances of me getting screwed over. It mm -hmm. sounds crazy talking about this lady's entitlement um, when you are um, outside of a marriage. Right, but which is why it's so Looney Tunes to me. Which like, is why it's crazy. But I even think it's even crazier to expect a married couple that's been married for ten years, right? Husband and wife married for ten years. I would have to pay my wife and maintain her lifestyle and everything her, that she's accustomed to mm -hmm. till she either dies or remarries. Mm. And all over the country, there are plenty of men who are doing this. I think that's just as crazy personally to me. What I'm not I believe against, in prenups and postnups. What I'm not against though is like they should change that law to like, hey, maintain that person's life for five years, ten years. Mm -hmm. Okay? But Western maintain that person for the rest of your life. People are just gonna take that incentive and not get married, right? They're yeah. just gonna have a live in boyfriend. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna cut off that that money that like that the extra supply is sending monthly you know what i mean mm -hmm. but yeah man crazy story let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below also if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to do amazing things for my channel hit that like button man i appreciate you guys so much again if you've been watching my videos um consistently if this is your third time or fourth time checking out my videos this is the time to subscribe people i am dedicated to uploading more content more frequently felici thank you so much for joining us thank you so much for having me until next time i'm out peace